I want to show you, this is along the lines of how silver nitrate is contaminated. You saw me just uh, maintain, make this and maintain this. This is one of my working baths that I cleaned the bottle and filtered. And this is our new bath, new bath that we just made. Um, I wanted to talk to you about how these baths become contaminated. This is pure um, silver bath here. If I were to pour a little bit of distilled water in here, it does absolutely nothing, right? I mean, it thins it out, but it does nothing. It's perfectly fine. A couple of bubbles, I guess. But Now, what happens when you use dirty water or you use uh, any, any kind of contaminant gets into the silver nitrate, um, what happens is this. That's tap water. That's German tap water from our faucet. See how it turns cloudy and nasty? And the more I do that, the more cloudy and weird it will get. Why is that? Well, because that contains calcium, contains um, minerals and deposits, and that's it's reacting with the silver nitrate. What I'm going to do with this, and we'll come back to this later, what I'm going to do with this, if your bath happens, and it doesn't have to be tap water, it can be anything. If your bath becomes contaminated, never, ever throw silver nitrate away. I'm going to put this out in the sun for, depends, it's winter time, but depends on how many hours, um, depends on how strong the UV is. Put it out in the sun or put it under a UV source. If you, if you have a UV light, you can do this as well. And all this material is going to react with the silver nitrate from because of the exposure to the UV, just like a photograph, and fall to the bottom, and it'll be black. It'll basically react, fall to the bottom, and then we can filter that off, and that will be a good silver bath. This has been sitting in the sun for about four or five hours, and as you can see, the material reacted um, with the silver in the beginning, and then it reacted with the UV light, and basically, uh, you know, developed out, if you will, and dropped to the bottom. As you can see here, black on the bottom. That's all the organic material. The silver or the water at the top is good. Um, you can either decant this or filter it off or siphon it off and check your acidity and your specific gravity and you're good to go. Same thing with using baking soda or doing the full uh, neutralizing the bath and reacidifying and bringing a silver bath back up to working condition.